Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Amazon Fire HD 10 with Alexa. Now this is Amazon's seventh generation tablet. Now you can buy this on Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price on this, 150 bucks for the 32 gig version and 190 bucks for the 64 gig version. All right, so let's check this out. Shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. Amazon Fire HD 10 with Alexa. Now this is the 64 gig version. Let's run through the features and the specs real quick. Now you get a 10.1 inch HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Now you also got a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. Now this has a quad core processor, dual band AC Wi-Fi, front and rear cameras, and Dolby sound system. All right, so let's go through this one by one. Fast and responsive with full HD display. Now you got a brilliant 10.1 inch 1080p HD display that's 1920 by 1200, up to 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor, two gigs of RAM, and a long lasting battery. Now you got up to, uh, up to 256 gigs of expandable storage for offline viewing. Now this is designed for widescreen entertainment. Videos, games, and web content look and sound amazing with more than two million pixels stereo speakers, and Dolby Audio. Now you can seamlessly stream your favorite TV shows and movies with dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. That means a strong connection. Massive selection of content. Shop millions of movies, TV shows, songs, Kindle books, magazines, Android apps, and games, including Facebook, HBO, Pandora, and more. Watch downloaded videos anywhere with Prime membership or Netflix subscription. Now this features Amazon Alexa, so you can ask Alexa. Alexa provides quick access to the information and entertainment you want using your voice. Use Alexa to ask questions or to play your favorite song or video, open apps and games, show sports scores, hear a joke, get the news, display the weather, and more. Now this is great for the whole family. Built-in class parental controls let you manage screen time limits, educational goals, and web browsing to fit kids' needs as they grow. Give kids access to age-appropriate content, including over 40,000 curated websites and videos. Now, if you buy this, you get exclusive features only available from Amazon. Enhance your experience with features you only get from Amazon, such as Blue Shade, ASAP, WhisperSync, X-Ray, On Deck, and more. All right, so what's included in the box? You get the Fire HD 10 tablet, that's the seventh generation. You get the Amazon 9 watt power adapter, USB charging cable, built-in rechargeable battery, personalized special offers, and sponsored screensavers, which we'll be disabling immediately. Now we also got the case, we'll get into that in a second. All right, so let's pop this open and see what it is. Okay. Now remember, this is the 64 gig version, so less than 200 bucks. All right, so that's pretty much it. So, here's your tablet. This is gonna be your setup guide, also known as usual books and shit. Follows to the side. Now this is USB to micro USB. All right, so no USB type C. And here's your charging brick. All right, let's give Cert something to play with. And let's take a look at the tablet. <laughs> Scared you, right? Here we go. All right, oh, wait a minute, one more thing. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Fire Tablets do more with your Fire Tablet. Okay, we'll look through that later. Fresh out of the box, nice and lightweight. Has a matte feel on the back, big Amazon branding. There's your camera, power button. There's your uh, micro USB charging cable. Got a mic, headphone jack, volume up and down. Okay, now we'll play with this. We'll see what that button does in a minute. On the other side, here's two speakers. All right, so let's see if we got quad speakers. All right, so we got dual speakers. Okay, pretty much it. Front-facing camera. So let's power this up, see if we got any juice. There it goes. All right, so that is the power button. We'll see what this button does right here in a second. This might be your SIM tray. Let's see. Yep, there it is. All right, so that's your, uh, your SIM tray for your micro SD card slot. All right. So basically, let me uh, power this up, we'll download some apps, and we'll go through the OS and see what it looks like. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I just put my information in the tablet, I downloaded some apps and some games, tested out the camera, the speakers, the display, Amazon Alexa, and I gotta keep it real with y'all. For under 200 bucks, this is a major, major, major go. 
This might be the smoothest budget style tablet that I use yet. Now I got a bunch of inexpensive tablets and they all suffer from the same problem, lag. So far, haven't seen any lag on this one yet and that's because it's pretty much stock, pretty much smooth. All right, so let's check it out. First things first, build quality. Now you got your soft matte feel on the back, minimum fingerprint status. It is plastic, but it definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. Now let's power this up from the front. Now you hit your button, on your lock screen you're gonna get some ads. So you got a few things. Now you can see your battery percentage, your Wi-Fi connection, whose tablet it is. You can swipe this way, check out some ads, unlock it, or take it straight to your camera. Now here's your home screen. Now during this video, pay attention to how smooth this tablet is running. Here's your home screen. Now if you're familiar with Amazon, it looks the same as your Amazon Fire TV. So from the home screen, you got new items. Now I did download the uh, Fire and Fury book. Now I'm not trying to get political, but this is a good book to read. Very entertaining, plenty of jokes. Now there's a lot of bloatware on here. Basically a lot of Amazon apps pre-installed. We'll go through those in a minute. But you got your basic apps. You got your calculator, your clock, the weather, all your basic Amazon apps. Now, if you wanna hit Amazon Alexa, you just hold down the uh, home button. What time is it? It's 2.12 a.m. Let's try one more. What's the weather for today? Currently, in Jamaica, it's 28 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect lots of sun with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. All right, 38 degrees. Now on a side note, everybody keeps asking me, no, not Jamaica, the West Indies, Jamaica, New York. All right, there's a part of New York called Jamaica, Queens. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, real quick, let's go through the settings. Now when you swipe down, <laughs> look out Zerks, when you swipe down, you got your quick toggles. So there's my Wi-Fi connection. You could put it in airplane mode. You got blue shade mode. So blue shade mode is if you wake up in the middle of the night and you wanna check your messages or maybe you wanna do some nighttime reading, it's gonna dim the screen a little bit so it's gonna be less murder on your eyes. You got do not disturb. You got your camera, <laughs> help, auto rotate, and settings. All right, so let's go to settings real quick. Now this is pretty much like a stock Android device. So you got your wireless. Let's check storage. Now, after all of these pre-installed apps, you still got 53 gigs available. So do the math. If you get the 32 gig, subtract it for yourself with 64 gigs, almost 10 gigs of pre-installed apps. Matter of fact, maybe a little less because I did download a couple of uh, other apps. All right, so let's see else. You got uh, power. All right, so you got uh, maximum battery life. You got low power mode, automatic low power mode, automatic smart suspend. So basically what that will do is turn off your Wi-Fi if you're not using the tablet. You can schedule a smart, uh, uh, it's got tongue tie, smart suspend. So say if you know you work nine to five and you're gonna leave the tablet home, you can schedule this to be disconnected from Wi-Fi from nine to five, so this way everybody else in the house get a little better uh, connections. Let's say you got advanced, you got display settings, all of the basic stuff. Now you got your Alexa settings, device options, really no features and gimmicks on this, pretty much simple and straightforward. All right, so let's exit out of that. So there's your homepage. Now, if you swipe one uh, over to the left, you got your recents. So as you can see, I was on YouTube. I was playing a video game. <laughs> Zerks. I was playing a video game, camera, taking some pictures. Back to home screen. All right, so let's swipe over one. Now, here's your books. Now, here's the last book I was reading. And on a side note, if you got a cat, you better download this book. It's called How to Tell You If Your Cat Is Plotting to Kill You. This book is straight comedy. Now, I'll open it up real quick. Let's see, uh, just so I can get an idea of what, what this looks like if you're reading books. All right, so we'll close that real quick. All right, so here's your book. Now, that was pretty much at the end, but you'll just be swiping. This is like a like a comic strip book, but it's pretty funny. I don't want y'all to see too much because I don't want to ruin it for y'all if y'all going to download it. But trust me, download how to, how to Tell If Your Cat Is Plotting to Kill You. All right, so you got all your books right here. Scroll over one more, video. Now this is connected to my Amazon account, so this is the last video I was watching, Lords of the Mafia. So let's see how this is gonna look if you're watching the video. Let me just uh, wipe this screen down. I had a little bit of cat hairs on here. All right, so here's the series. Let's do uh, Russian Mafia. Let's see, uh, matter of fact, we'll resume. We'll resume the one I was just watching. Lucchese took command. Now the speakers on this sound pretty good. I was watching the Lucchese crime family <laughs> Taking some notes Alright, let me exit out of this Alright, so we're back out of that Alright, so basically, you can see for yourself All of your uh, videos and movies that you watch on Amazon You can watch right from your tablet Scroll over one more Games Alright, let's check out a game I was playing Subway Surfer 
All right, now, if y'all ain't hear about my subway surfer skills, you're getting ready to find out. <laughs> I'm trash. All right, let's uh, tap to play. All right, here we go. Subway surfer. Sounds good. You see, very fluent. One thing I got to say on this tablet, no lag yet. I'm gonna just do a little bit more. Let me show y'all some of my skills. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that. Look at look look at the skills. Look at your, look at your boy. Watch this. Watch this. Wait till the last second. Come on, man. Y'all 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 don't want it. Who want it? Watch this. Oh, last second. <laughs> I know. I'll be having too much fun. All right. So that's our sub, that's Subway Surfer. Let's quit. All right. So that's your games tab. Basically, thousands of games to choose from. Let's go. Uh, and you can search also. Scroll over one more, shop. Now this is your basic Amazon shopping page. All right, so go shopping. Now here's your apps. Now you got a bunch of apps. You got Netflix, YouTube, CBS, Facebook Messenger. Let's go to uh, YouTube real quick. This way we can test out the display and also the speakers. All right, now I was watching uh, the Clash, Just go with your opponent. Injustice. Absolutely. Look how beautiful this looks. Great viewing angles. Bottom firing speakers, but it's two of them. They sound nice and loud. I got them on max. I who this are nub cakes and get wrecked. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so that's YouTube. Uh let's uh exit. How do oh pause. Alright. Now, same pretty much Android style buttons on the on the bottom, so you got back home and recently used apps. So if I hit the recently used apps, you can see I had a bunch of apps open in the background. They still running. All right, so this is your apps tab. Thousands of apps to choose from. Scroll over one more, music. All right, so you got your full Amazon library. Audible. Now when I downloaded Fire and Fury, I was gonna uh, listen to it on the plane while I sleep. <laughs> so I got the Audible book. But you got all your books and your Audibles, uh, all your Audible stuff. And then you got newsstand. All right, so if you're into politics, if you're into the, uh, you know, uh, the latest trends, Wall Street Journal, The Post, Time, blah, blah, blah. And you got your store. That's pretty much it. Now let's go to camera. Now the camera function on this is basic. All right, if you go to settings, not too many settings, just the image, photo ratio, panoramic. Let's do a little point and shoot. Psst, psst, Zerks, white shoes. All right, <laughs> now let me show y'all some pictures I already took. Matter of fact, um, here we go. Hold up, Str struggle alert. How did, oh, here it goes, <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button. All right, so here's the picture I just took. Not the best camera in the world, but it gets the job done. Did a little video. Zerk's trolling as usual. Got a nice picture right here. Picture quality on this, mm, not the best. All right, not the best. But this is cool if you if now a lot of people ask me why do they even put cameras on tablets? Well, it's like this. If I'm right here, say I'm um say I'm reading this book. Um, and I'm just chilling on my couch reading the book, and then all of a sudden Xerxes is on the floor doing something cute. I could just exit out real quick, pull out my camera, and catch that moment without going to dig through my phone and all that other stuff. Now, one thing I want to mention, don't be that person, all right? Don't take this to your daughter's graduation or your son's your son's re re recital and be that person trying to take a video or pictures with a big tablet, all right? Don't be that person. People behind you want to take pictures too, have a little courtesy. Not to mention, the cameras on this, the resolution ain't that great, so if you're getting good memories, take them with your phone. Overall, like I said, on a scale of one to 10, this is a major, major, major go. I'm so impressed with the speed of this. All right, now the build quality and everything is good, but I'm impressed with the no lag status. And like I said, I got a bunch of budget tablets and they all try to have the latest Android OS or maybe, you know, two Android OSs behind. And they always try to have a fancy skin and that causes them to lag and slow down. With the Amazon ta uh, tablet, I like how they kept it simple and smooth. So everything just works. I was watching American Dad, Nazi Death Squad. I'll be watching some crazy stuff, I know. All right, that's pretty much it. So now let's take a look at the case. Now we got the Fire HD 10 cover. This one is gonna run you 40 bucks. All right, this is the charcoal color. Let's see how this looks. 
Okay. Now, this is actually pretty nice. Let me do the smell test on this. Ah, quality. <laughs> Smells like quality. File that to the side. You got to cut out for your camera. Now, this um does double as a stand. That's why it has that fold. If you ever bought the um, Incipio Esquire case, yeah, I know that's one of my favorite ones. Has that sweater, that sweater kind of feel to it. This one has it also, little Amazon branding. We'll slap the tablet in and figure out how this works. All right, so once you slap this in, let's see. Let's see how, okay, here we go. Hold up. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, my bad, y'all. I had a little brain freeze, but most tablet cases are made to watch videos in landscape mode. This one is designed for portrait mode. So here's how it looks on your tablet. Beautiful. When you open it up, it automatically activates your screen. And if you want to watch a movie or read your book in portrait mode, you just fold the case, unfold it from the other side, and you can watch your movies or read your books just like this. Anyway, this is the Amazon Fire HD 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. This is a major, major, major go. I highly recommend this for under 200 bucks. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Energize.